morning my dear friends after a long time nearly a month or month or so i am coming back with my azadi ka amrut mahotsav video the name of the series is the growth and development of india meteorological department last time i was uh, talking about pilot balloon observations and i have some more information about pilot balloon observations and today i will continue with the pilot balloon observations i joined the department in 1981 uh, by this time you might uh, all of you must be knowing this so i never had much opportunity to work in pilot balloon units but in bangalore when i was uh, staying in bangalore i stayed in the quarters chamari accommodation so which is very near to the pilot balloon observatory my friends were working there uh, one mr p r venkateswaran he has retired one uh, adina rai reddy he has also retired then a senior person p tangapan billai then there was one mr madana gobal he quit the job and joined as a curator in visveshwaraya museum at bangalore so i used to go there and sit with them and see what they are doing later in 1990 when i joined as scientific assistant in karekal my friends sri s natarajan and after him sri r rajamani natarajan is still there retired but still there rajamani is no more so these people were working in pilot balloon observatory and i used to go with them to have a experience of uh, pilot balloon observations they used to tell me come on kvb you come and track the balloon but i said no no i don't think i will work in pilot balloon observatory at all like that i was telling but immediately after my transfer from karekal i was posted to pilot balloon observatory as in charge in chennai so for about a year i worked there even in that one year period i uh, for four months i went for intermediate training so roughly about seven months i worked though i was knowing calculations uh, uh then uh, what is table work related to all the pilot balloon observations i was uh, having much difficulty in tracking the balloon so today uh, i am going to uh, tell you some more points i hope you are all seeing the shared the screen pilot balloon observations video number 2 azadi ka amrit mahotsav video series january to 15th august i am thinking of uh, releasing these videos topic of the series is growth and development of india meteorological department so pilot balloon that is only wind there are, there are uh, there is another type we know rsrw their temperature humidity observations also will come but pilot balloon is only wind observations so these uh, stations are taking wind observations that is direction and speed some stations take uh, uh, two observations two ascents a day 0 and 12 utc that is morning 5:30 and evening 5:30 indian standard time some stations take four ascents at uh, synoptic hours that is 
zero six twelve and eighteen. Wherever RSRW observatory and pilot balloon observatory are co-located, zero and twelve observations are taken by RSRW observatory. Six and eighteen are taken by PB observatory. So we we were having various techniques. One is optical theodolite. Then we have wind profiler, sonar, lidar, pilot sonde. These are all the methods by which the pilot balloon observations are taken. So it is one field in uh, which has developed a lot. The growth and development of IMD can be seen in this particular uh, type of observation. So we were using a lot of uh, instruments in uh, 1980s when I when I joined the department at the time in Bangalore. I have seen uh, it will look like as if it is a scientific scientific department because uh, uh, like in a physics lab we will be using so many instruments. So uh, we we used to uh, theodolite we have seen in the last uh, observation and uh, uh, after taking observation and uh, when when we come for computation we we used to have a circular uh, protractor. Which will be having about uh, uh, fifty uh, centimeters long scale attached with this. I have shown this here in the uh, picture. This is used to draw the trajectory of the uh, uh, pilot balloon observation. And in those days, calculators uh, were just coming. So, uh, I, so we were using this uh, pilot balloon slide rule. Uh, and with this, the uh, the sin theta, cos theta uh, calculations, trigonometric calculations for finding out the distance, horizontal distance as well as the uh, vertical heights uh, sometimes are calculated using this uh, uh, slide rule. And uh, uh, during daytime, uh, we used to have a, a tail method. That is with the balloon, we used to attach a tail and uh, this uh, tail also will be observed and uh, uh, its readings are taken in the uh, smaller scale, minuscule scale in the theodolite and using that, the height of the uh, balloon uh, will be determined exactly. So I, I have tried to given the uh, trigonometrical method in which the uh, balloon's height is determined in the tail method here. The way this is happening because uh, uh, in uh, the because of temperature, uh, sometimes the balloon will be pushed up or down in the atmosphere. You know, the balloon is filled with uh, hydrogen gas. In India, it is hydrogen gas, so it is lighter than air, so it is supposed to go up. So when, when we fill up hydrogen gas uh, to a particular amount, depending upon the size of the uh, balloon, then the rate of ascent is uh, assumed as constant. But during uh, daytime, because of uh, uh, temperature, high temperatures, the balloon may have uh, faster ascent or slower ascent. So that uh, faster or slower ascent uh, may have some effect on the rate of ascent of the balloon. So determining the height of the balloon is uh, uh, done with the help of tails. So here I have given uh, two pictures. So in the first, in the in the, uh, the effect of thermal currents, how this is, it is there on on balloons. I am trying to explain with this picture. Uh, this is A and this is B. Okay, A, B is the path of the balloon with assumed constant rate of ascent. A, C is the actual path of the balloon due to thermal currents. Because of temperature variations, the balloon will have a higher ascent. D, E, path of the balloon with assumed constant rate of ascent. This another another example, D, E. D, F is the actual path of the balloon due to heavy rain. So see for, uh, here, when it comes here, so you have rain, rainfall here. Because of that, the balloon is pushed down. So DF is the actual path of the balloon uh, due to rain. So these uh, variations in the path of the balloon 
and because of that the changes in the height can be determined using the uh, tail method uh, this is actually the track of the uh, balloon uh, which we used to draw in the uh, on a paper using that protractor circular protractor and after that we used to determine the uh, direction and velocity of the wind for that we used to uh, uh, employ scales called velocity scales so sometimes uh, uh, wrong velocity scales will be used by the observer and because of that uh, the wind speed uh, uh, would have been reported wrongly double or half of that so every time uh, when a when a relieving person comes for a new duty it is his duty to check the uh, observation sheet track what are the scale used everything he, sh he should recalculate whatever the uh, observation taken by his earlier man and check uh, find out whether everything is correct so at that time we would have uh, we, we will find out that this man has room, uh, used a wrong velocity scale and reissue the uh, balloon so i am i am trying to show a uh, three dimensional picture of the uh, uh, balloon path see this is the horizontal path 7 12 the initial time from here it goes like this and 7 13 40 it comes like this okay but uh, if you see here the how the afterwards it, the, this fellow is vertically ascending up to 7.24.30. So, uh, this is uh, in the northern direction, this is in the eastern direction. These conventions are used in plotting this uh, uh, track of the uh, balloon uh, trajectory. So, when, when we see this, we can find that uh, uh, wind at different heights. They have uh, sometimes the wind is veering or sometimes it is backing. Uh, say veering means what? Backing means what? That can that can be that is explained by from this this picture. So you, you see, uh, this is uh, uh, ground zero meter height. Then this one is uh, one thousand five hundred meter height. This is three thousand meter height. This is five thousand five hundred meter height. So southerly. From here, southwesterly, uh, west southwesterly, westerly. So the the wind is uh, turning clockwise as it uh, as the uh, when we go up in the atmosphere, the wind is turning clockwise. This we call as veering. Similarly, here you can see the wind is uh, turning anti-clockwise. This we call as backing. So. Uh, these informations help us uh, in giving proper forecast to the uh, pilots who are flying in the uh, uh, atmosphere at different heights. So recently, <coughs> IMD uh, has planned to install uh, five numbers of propospheric type of uh, wind profilers at New Delhi. Allahabad, Mangalore, Masulipatnam, and Balasur. And two numbers of boundary layer type of wind providers at Agra and Jaipur. The uh, wind profilers, uh, to my knowledge, are there in uh, India for uh, nearly 20 years. Uh, there is a, a place called Gadanki in uh, near Tirupadi. Tirupadi uh, Tirumala Temple is there, no? nearby that there is a place called Gadanki and there we have an MST radar. Uh, this MST radar is nothing but uh, a, a type of uh, wind profiler only, but it can, it can uh, measure the uh, wind and direction and speed up to mesosphere. That is why this is called as MST, mesosphere, stratosphere, troposphere radar. But now we are uh, uh, proposing to have five numbers of tropospheric uh, wind profilers at uh, New Delhi, Allahabad, Bangalore, Mangalore, uh, Masulipatnam and Balasur. Similarly, two numbers of boundary layer type of wind profilers uh, at uh, Agra and Jaipur. So, uh, but uh, uh, this was a proposal somewhere in 2020. 
but because of uh, corona all these things have come to a standstill but uh, out now uh, for the past two months again the work is going on so again this uh, wind uh, uh, profilers uh, will have a uh, fixed antenna in the ground and uh, it, which can be tilted from uh, five degrees uh, five degrees so it can have a, a circular area cone conical area in which it can find out the wind uh, direction speed and all uh, for this uh, yagi antennas are employed in some places uh, for in some places the disc antenna is uh, uh, employed so this is another uh, uh, important development that is going to happen in the uh, pilot balloon uh, observations and uh, from uh, slide rule protractor we have developed into using scientific calculators and now if you just read uh, feed the readings in the computer computer itself will calculate uh, winds at different heights and prepare the message uh, in the required code so pilot balloon observations in india meteorological department is one branch of the department which has had significant growth and development in the past 50 years thank you